about her again? It's not funny, Alara. These dreams feel so real. And this one ended in a way I did not like at all. Hmm. No happy ending this time? What a shame. Kadek, you keep dreaming about a woman you don't even know. It's probably a combination of that barmaid you couldn't keep your eyes off of and a piece of undigested boar meat. Well, rotten boar meat would explain the ending. Let's get some sleep. We need to be at the Fountain of Alicia by morning. I tell you, Alara, there was something about that dream. It may have been some kind of omen. You're being paranoid. I'm being cautious. If something's waiting for us, it's best to be prepared. You worry too much. And you don't worry enough. Worrying gets you nothing but wrinkles, old man. Old man? <laughs> You're twice my age, Elf. And half as mature. Hmm, and ten times prettier. There. The entrance to the fountain is just across that bridge. So it is. What do you say we go make a fortune, girl? Hmm. All the manor water our client could ask for. Burning blood of the goddess. Elara, look here. I know that door. I saw it in my dream. It's an omen, Elara. We have to see what's in there. You know me. I'm always happy to open strange doors with screaming faces carved above them. Kadik, that strange stone. Yes, and stranger yet, it's the stone from my dream. Interesting. 
What is that? At last our paths have crossed, warrior. You? From my vision? Yes. My name is Seraphim, and those visions are a foretelling of the riches and power I can provide you. I told you, Alara, it was much more than just a dream. Wait, this is your dream girl? I think she looks <laughs> promising. Let us start with a favor. What do you need? Besides a little sun. There's no need for your snarky nature, Huntress, for what I require is quite simple. All I ask is for you to pick up the Death Stone before you. Pick it up? A Death Stone? The stone goes far beyond such literal nonsense. It has many powers. It allows me to channel the energy of certain crystals into its bearers. Collect these crystals and present them to me, and I can grant you powers beyond your wildest dreams. And where do we find these crystals? They lie scattered throughout the realm. Their capabilities forgotten to all but a few, so... Pick it up. But it's a death stone next to a dead body. Oh, you must trust me. Time is not eternal and I need your aid. I am bound to the death stone. An artifact that stands between the living and... Hello. No! Kadek, your dream girl nearly got us killed. You're jumping to conclusions, girl. Well, there must be a very simple explanation. Besides, I'd like to at least hear her out. It's not like we've any other promise of paying work at hand. Look! Well done. I am impressed. You have proven yourself to be quite heroic. We're not heroes. <laughs> heroes or not, you have earned the power I promised. You. Hand me the crystals. First things first, Seraphine. My partner here has a trust issue. You told us to pick up that Death Stone, and when we did, all hell broke loose. This is not about trust, warrior. It is about listening to what I say. I told you to pick up the Death Stone, not the... How should I say? Non-human one. However, the damage is done, and we will have to make the best of it. Now, please, hand me the crystals. You must admit, that's amazing. As is the price, I wager. A wager you would lose, Huntress. You see, I am the daughter of the Lord Mayor of Dyford below you. All I ask is you seek out my father and speak with him. Dyford is in need of your skills, and my father will pay you well for your efforts. 
That's it? Find your father and talk to him? Yes. And the one you spoke of before, the one who tried to stop our taking the stone? He has lost you for now. And should he find you again, well, with my power, you will find yourselves better suited to stand against him. All right. We'll talk to your father then. Thank you. Though when you speak to him, I ask you, do not mention our encounter or my troubles. Why not? My poor father has enough to worry about with his town crumbling around him. As you wish. We'll not mention you. Excellent. Then I will see you both below. Well then, on to Dyfed. Fine, but mark my words. Your little dream girl is going to become a huge nightmare. Dyford. Never been before. It's too far out in the sticks to be worth the trip. But I've heard the Lord Mayor's a very rich man. I don't know why this Seraphin has taken an interest in us. But a well enough paying job here could set us up for life. So this is the town of Dyford. Looks to have seen better days. Something's not right. There should be people out and about at this hour. Perhaps they're late risers. Perhaps. Let's find the Lord Mayor and be cautious. Look, more prisoners up on that bridge. Since when do the war guard take prisoners? They're only interested in looting and killing. And eating their victims. Don't forget that. No, you never forget that. Ah, uh, you saved us! You... You're an elf. I didn't think any of your kind still lived. They don't. Well, whoever you are, you're heroes. I know that much. Heroes? Hardly. We're looking for the Lord Mayor. Is he near? Him? He'd never set foot in this part of town. Like as not, he's taken refuge in the town hall. In his vault, I'd wager. And which way is the town hall? Up the road, through the Elder Courtyard. Be careful, though. From what I've heard, the courtyard has seen some heavy fighting. Don't worry. So have we. Come on! Come, come back! Run, run, run. Come back, cowards! You! Come with me! We need your help. The Lord Mayor is trapped down there. The war guard bombarding the entire town square from the bell tower. There's a ballista up ahead. We have to use it to bring that tower down. It's the only way to save the Lord Mayor. Look out! No! Ah! <laughs> That's how a fight should go. This way! This way! Hurry! Follow me! We had heard Dyford might need our services. Might pay for our services. Might pay well for our services. Have I not troubles enough without being shaken down by a pair of mercenaries after my gold? A word of advice. This may not be the best place to conduct negotiations. So, how may we help you? It's... my daughter. What of her? The Wargar have taken her. They've lived in the dungeons beneath the city since, well, before I was born. But the cowardly beasts always kept to themselves, never dared to come out in force. Not until my reign. 
Any idea as to what would make them so aggressive? There is a... a substance the Wargar have been seen drinking. Some vile silver liquid. Makes them very strong, nearly invincible. Evil stuff. A few weeks ago, one of my best men found a vat of it while patrolling the hills. Had himself a taste. It made him strong, strong as ten men. But it didn't last long, and it left him different, angry, and obsessed with finding more of the stuff. I had him confined, but he escaped, killed two guards, and fled in search of more. He was last seen heading down into the dungeons. I don't suppose he returned? No. No one does. I'll make you a deal. Go down there, rescue as many of my people as you can, and find my daughter. Return her to me, and it's a thousand gold for you. You've a thousand thousand here, easy. Ten thousand. Each. What's this? Extortion? You're sending us into a horrid dungeon no one ever returns from. You think that comes cheap? Fine. Ten thousand each. Hmm. Highway robbery. Uh, here. This passage will get you out of the town. Once there, make for the old keep of Dyfed. There's a well inside that leads into the dungeons. That's your way in. Aye, with a fortune awaiting us when we find our quarry. And all because I touched the stone. Are those Wargar crankier than usual? Crankier and stronger. Must be from being cooped up underground for so long. Perhaps the Death Stone will shed some light on this. Storm the human village. Bring them to me. Alive. For each prisoner, you will be rewarded. With this. the liquid your father spoke of. Perhaps. Oh, there is potent magic within that liquid. Perhaps it is something you can use to your own advantage. Your father described it as evil, and I trust him more than you. My father knows little of the ways of magic, and he deems anything that he does not understand as evil. All I am saying is that if you find yourself overpowered, that liquid just may save your life. Regardless of whether or not you choose to claim this liquid's power, give me the crystals you have gathered, and you may still partake of mine. This must be the well the Lord Mayor spoke of. Aye, the entrance to the dungeons. I don't see any traps or pressure plates, but we better be sure there's oh, no- Oh, come on, old man. Do you want to live forever? With you around, girl, I'd settle for making it to tomorrow. Come on, Kadek. In life, 
you're either the hunter or the hunted. And waiting only means someone else gets to choose. He's probably worried what's happening here is bringing up memories for me. Of the Minotaur and what they did to my people. He knows I don't think about that. I never think about that. I was wondering when you'd get down there. Oh, it's look then leap, Alara. How many times do I have to say it? <laughs> whatever that is, it doesn't sound happy. And whatever it is doesn't sound human. Stay sharp. Ah! What are you doing here? Enjoying the sights. Got free, eh? I thought I'd turn the table on these Wargar scum. Do a favor for me? Kill as many of these accursed Wargar as you can. And don't make it quick. Is that the Wargar priest from that Deathstone vision? They all look alike to me. Whatever that sound is, it can't possibly be anything good. It's one of those bats again. It sounds like they're feeding it to something. To the Queen of Darkness, I'd wager. I thought they were gonna feed the prisoners to her. Still could be. This might just be the appetizer. Fair point. After you. <laughs> Perhaps the Death Stone will shed some light on this. Give us more. We need it. We crave it. And I will give it. If you bring me double of the slaves you promised. The double? Is that a problem? No, Master. Only might we keep a few slaves for ourselves. The Queen of Darkness. She is not fair. All slaves will be brought to me. Alive. The Slag is the only sustenance you or your queen require. Yes, yes, forgive me, forgive me, most generous master. <laughs> you shall have your slaves, master, <laughs> or you wish and more. So, the Wargar aren't calling their own shots. Aye, but who is? And where did this... Slag, he called it? Where did it come from? The Wargar seem addicted to it. Did he say they were feeding it to the Queen of Darkness? You saw what it did to that Wargar. If that beast gets a taste of that liquid, things can get real ugly real fast. Many humans will be slaughtered. The Wargar have taken us out of the dungeons into the wilds of Govad beyond. They've taken you out of their stronghold? Why? I do not know, but I dislike it. You just said many will be slaughtered. You know something. Only what I've told you, Huntress. My words only frustrate you because events are beyond your comprehension. Maybe you're right. Perhaps if I cut out your tongue, your words will no longer frustrate me. Easy, girl. I promise if you rescue my physical body, it will all come clear. Yes, that's what worries me. You really trust her? I think her lily-white ass is clouding your thinking. I'm thinking of the mayor's big fat ass and the reward he promised. I've never known you to put a woman over money, Caddick, so I guess I believe you. Good. Now, let's get out of these damn caves and get to the wilds.
I don't like this. Not the chasing and the killing, that I love. But I don't trust Seraphin. I'd leave her to the war guard, but I don't like that either. The thought of abandoning someone taken from their home, abused and enslaved like my people. But I don't think about that. Anyway, we don't find her, we don't get paid. And I like that least of all. Oh, it's bright after those tunnels. Kadok, look. And there they are, prisoners in tow. Heading for that temple in the distance, do you think? Who cares where they're going? Let's stop them now. Careful, girl. There's company nearby. Ha! You've done it! You've saved us! I don't know how to thank you. Assuming a cash reward is out of the question, you can help us find someone. The Lord Mayor's daughter. I haven't seen her. But there's a man you should ask. Peridor. He led this uprising. But the war guard have recaptured him. If you can rescue him, he might be able to tell you more. The war guard were marching us towards the old temple deep in the wilds. If you head that way, you should find him. <sighs> Nothing's ever simple on this job, is it? Peridor, I presume? Indeed. My thanks, strangers. I owe you a day. Yeah, that's why our pockets are always empty. We rescued your wife. Meet her on the hill. Perhaps you can repay us with answers. We're looking for your Lord Mayor's daughter. Our? Gwyneth has no Lord Mayor. Gwyneth? You're not from Dyford? No. The war guard raided Gwyneth a week ago. They took many of us prisoner. They did the same thing to Dyford yesterday. Have you seen any prisoners from Dyford? Not that I know. But if the war guard have the girl and she's still alive, they'll have taken her to the ruins of the temple. That's where they're herding the remaining prisoners. Ah. Any idea how to get past those barricades out there? Just wait. More war guard be here soon enough. They'll open the barricade for you. Good luck to you. Come on. So, Minotaur and Wargar are trading human beings for Slick, and you put us right in the middle? Those cows butchered all but a handful of elves, so I'd be very concerned about your own physical body once I find it. Did you know the Minotaur were involved? I had my suspicions, as both beasts are in the thrall of the Slick, but I did not want to worry you until I was certain- I prefer worrying over surprises, so go ahead. Worry me. As you wish. I strongly suspect that whatever is behind this is nearing its moment, and death is imminent. But try not to worry. I really hate her. Careful, girl. Let's see what we can see. Definitely taking them down river. Who is that? That woman giving the orders? No idea. But I can tell by looking at her, she wouldn't be pleasant to deal with. Uh-oh. Looks like we have no choice. Well, that witch was no match for us, eh, Kadok? Yes, girl. We do make quite the pair. Let's see if you can shed some light on this. Whatever you are. I have an errand for you. Two mercenaries. They are interfering with my slaves. And this must not be. Find them, hunt them down, and end them. Yes, my lord. Hmm, looks like you've gotten under somebody's skin. <laughs> me? Yes, you. Everybody loves me. 
Just keep telling yourself that, girl. Come on, let's check down by the docks. Kadok. I pray my eyes are deceiving me. What's the matter with you? That glow on the horizon. Yeah. Aye. It's burning. Hard to keep my head clear. Those damn Minotaur. They bring up the nightmares I tell myself I don't have. And now they've done to Lear the same thing they did to my people. Maybe it would be best to get out. Leave Seraphin, the cattle, the money. Leave it all and just get away. You! You're not part of the King's Guard. What are you doing here? We work for the Lord Mayor of Dyford. Mercenaries. <laughs> As if we didn't have enough troubles. What happened here? <laughs> what does it look like? We've been under siege for three weeks. They've done the same to Dyford. They've been carting the prisoners upriver by boat. Aye. We rescued a boatload earlier today. Did you? Was the Lord Mayor's daughter among them? Pale skin, dark hair, slutty outfit. Doesn't ring a bell. All the rescued prisoners were taken to the Scarlet Maid Tavern, where the king is. We know the place. <laughs> there, the Scarlet Maid. That's where the King of Lear is hiding? Uh, hold! Who goes there? <laughs> Friends of Lee, we seek the king. And the people of Dyford he's rescued. He had to move. Wasn't safe. Up the stairs and across the aqueduct. That's where he is. Tell him. Tell him I serve his pledge. The seven gods bless you, and the goddess keep you warm. Come on, old man. Let's keep moving. Boys, you don't want to fight us. We're on your side. We've come to see the king. Let them through. What have we left to lose? So, what brings warriors such as yourselves to the crumbling walls of Lear, eh? Bloodlust? Greed? Come to scavenge the bones of the dead? We're looking for a girl. A girl? <laughs> the world crashes in around us and you come looking for a girl. We were sent by the Lord Mayor of Dyford to seek his daughter. <laughs> Mercenaries. Your kind brought this hell upon us. Destroyed my city. Enslaved my people. You mistake us for the war guard. Or Minotaur cows. Puppets. Tools. They serve a man, a treacherous cur of a mercenary by the name of Anuvin. Anuvin. I've heard that name. Aye. He was a dragon hunter, I think. Aye. For years, 
Lear and its outlying lands were plagued by a great black dragon that dwelt in the ruined city of Kalamur. I hired Anuvin at great cost to slay the beast. I even gave him one of Lear's most powerful items, the Death Stone, in the hopes it would help him. Anuvin and his companions ventured into the depths of Kalamur. They were never heard from again, nor was the dragon. We assumed Anuvin perished while slaying the beast. I sent my men to investigate. That's how we learned that Anuvin survived. He had made Kalamur his stronghold. He had gathered there an army of Minotaur and Wargar and creatures of evil. And now, he brings ruin down upon us. I am sorry for your plight, but we've just come for the girl. Is she here or not? Aye, she's here. My men rescued her this morning. Giselle. My, my father sent you? I. We were sent by the Lord Mayor of Dyfed. Yes, that's my father. That's your father? Yes. Somebody has some explaining to do. Right. Come with us then, lass. We'll take you home. But the people here, they need help. We're not here for them. We're here for you. Come on. But... What do you want from us, damn it? We're not here to save the world, or even save one blazing city. We're not heroes. No. No, you're not. There's no profit in this, Elara. It's suicide. No. It's genocide. Will you keep the girl safe until she can be returned to Dyford? I... Yes, I'll do whatever I can. Good. Just... If you live through this, build a statue of us or something. A big one. Out of gold, if you've any left. I... The gods bless you. Bless you both. Kalamur is downriver from us. There are docks nearby. You should be able to find something that can still float. Okay, here we go. If it isn't the Queen of Deception, you realize you're dead. And I may not hold her back this time, Seraphim. You cannot be angry. I did not wish to deceive you, but I had no choice. <laughs> I don't buy it. Do you not even know yourselves? Your history presents not one shred of evidence you do anything out of the kindness of your heart. You would never have come willingly to seek Anuvan's destruction. Not without riches dangled in front of you. So I deceived you. Hoping once you saw this despair with your own eyes, your hearts would soften. So the king was right. We have been your puppets, pulling strings to kill Anuvin. Why? What is he to you? Let us simply say that the King of Lear is not the only one Anuvin has betrayed. <laughs> is that all? The mighty Seraphin, a woman scorned. Scorned or not, I could not defeat him alone. But my magic merged to your skills, and channeled through the Death Stone. My gut feeling is that we should just walk away. However, it seems we do share a common goal. Then you'll do it? You'll destroy Anuvan? Aye, we'll do it. But not for you. The why matters not to me, only the deed. Come, let us seal our agreement with the exchange of power. This is starting to seem easy. Quiet, girl. Don't tempt the trickster. I think it's cute you're so superstitious. <gasps> you... You're human! Kadok... Oh. Do these ears mean nothing to anyone? The other slaves. What's happened to them? Where are they? I don't know. There were thousands of us taken from all over the realms. 
but a few hours ago they moved most of us out deeper into the depths of the Citadel. To what end? No one knows. No one who's been brought that way has ever returned. Of course. No one returns from anywhere in this godforsaken place. That's why we're here, Alara. To change all that. Go. Make your escape while you can, and take anyone else you find with you. But... Where are you going? Into the depths. Um, Kadik? Aye? Where's the keep? It must have... Wait. I know this pit. It was in my dream. <laughs> Did any of your dreams tell how to get us out of this mess? No. But I seem to remember something happening right here. Yep, that was it! <laughs> I'm all the way down there, don't we? You're the one who wanted to be a hero. So this is Kala Moor. This is where all the destruction started. I expected something cold and sterile. But the air is warm and smells of rot and decay. The climb is steep, and the path is long. And reaching the bottom is only the beginning of what's to come. I feel the excitement in my bones. <sighs> long climb. Aye, but at least there's a prize at the end of it. Let's see what this beast's corpse can tell us. <laughs> Once, we dragons were proud and free. Until the King of Dyfed enslaved us with his accursed gemstone. But the two greatest of us turned on him and destroyed him, freeing our kind. Until a Nuvin came, also bearing the accursed stone. He too enslaved us, but the stone was stolen from him by one he had once trusted. Fearing it would be used to take us from him, he gouged the eyes from our skulls to keep us from looking upon it. But even he dared not defile the mightiest of us. He chained them deep within Kalamor, where they still wait. Perhaps for freedom. Gouging the eyes from dragons? It's madness. Agreed. The sooner we put an end to this Anuvin, the better. Elara. Another prisoner. Oh, mercy. What have they done to the poor bastard? A slag from his eyes. <laughs> tongue cut from his mouth. Death'll be a kindness when it comes for him. More than a kindness. It could be of value to us. Sorry. He's useless as he is. But his spirit might be able to tell us something if we used the Death Stone on it. <laughs> Only if we killed him. Slay an unarmed husk of a man for information. Ilara, that's madness, even for you. Consider her words, Karak. Information is a prize beyond value. At the cost of an innocent life. If ending this one life should save countless more from the cruelty of Anuvan, then so be it. No. No, we'll not be party to such an act. Heroes were not, but neither are we murderers. What? Lara! Kadik. Kadik, what did I do? What was necessary, Huntress? Ilara would never. What have you done to her? I. I had no part in this, but the deed is done. Don't let it be vain. Kadik, I... Let it go, girl. What's done is done. Let's try to make the best of it. I don't know why I was seen as a leader. Living here in the depths of despair. But I was. 
I kept people's spirits up. I looked out for the weak, for the sick. It helped me feel human. Our captors brought us down here, away from our work on the walls. We did not know why. Some were relieved at the break from our toil. I feared the worst. Though I had no idea then of what the worst truly meant. They brought us to a pool of some silvery liquid and began sacrificing us to it. Everyone, weak, sick, men, women, everyone I knew, being slaughtered. I cursed our captors and their leader, the one known as Anuvan. It was all I could do, and it wasn't enough. They were not gentle to me. They left me for dead. But the others were slaughtered. Slaughtered to feed that slick. They... They killed them. Sacrificed them to the slick. Fed them to it. Like fuel in a forge. I don't think we want to see what they shape in that forge. That's just great. How in the seven hells do we get past two dragons? That's easy. You take the one on the right. How about if we just use the stone? I think your sword would do more damage, but if you want to throw rocks, be my guest. The Death Stone. Use the Death Stone. Ah, that stone. Hmm. This almost feels like cheating. When will you realize, girl, that cheating death is a good thing? him. How adorable. Seraphim's little puppets. Come to dance for me. We're no puppets. Of course not. You're heroes. No, but we're as close as it gets. You're here to put a stop to me. Bring my reign of terror to an end. <laughs> Just here to do a job. Fools. You've no understanding of why you're here. Perhaps not, but I think we know what to do. something here. Right then. What's your story? The beast is near. So, now 
Now you've had your vengeance, Seraphim. How does it taste? Not vengeance, warrior. This was never truly about vengeance. It was about salvation. For myself, and my love. Salvation? He killed you. Not he. He would never do that. It was the Slig. It is an ancient evil, cunning and crafty, but it has no form. It needs a host, a mortal body to do its bidding. A body that would willingly call upon its power. A body that would sacrifice the person dearest to them for it. A body even more powerful than that of its previous host. That is why I brought you here. To replace Anuvin, to free him and me. And now that you have done that, one of you will slay the other and become the new servant of the Slayer. And the cycle will continue. Never! Elara and I have been through too much to turn on each other. We won't be slaves to your cycle. But you already are. You drank the slag of your own free will, for your own benefit. Its power is already at work within you. No! No, I'll not give in to that vile... No, girl. No. I always said you'd be the death of me.